All right, the next section that we're going to go over is finishing round techniques. And you're going to notice how I've fashioned this system is basically everything is going to be learned in sections. You're going to have finishing ground techniques. You're going to have arm bars. You're going to have throws. You're going to have sweeps, reaps, and throws, leg blocks. You're going to have stop hitting, fenting, uh, on and on and on. You'll have knife, gun, and club. You have kick defenses. You have punch defenses. Everything will be learned separately up to brown belt. Then you'll basically start putting this thing together. You'll start using everything. You'll start using your entering, your fenting, your stop hitting, your sweeps, reaps, and throws, down to your ground techniques, to ground fighting. And then basically the ultimate in this system is going all out, putting your protective gear on and uh, pretty much no holes barred but in a controlled fashion. Basically uh, you want anything can go other than, you know, we don't want to break each other's bones. Uh, chokes and all that, all the arm bars is allowed, the throws, of course the kicks, kicks to the legs, knees, elbows, head butts, you name it. Because that's going to get you closest ready for the street. It's still a control, in a control fashion, but as close as we possibly can get safely. All right, the finishing ground techniques. Okay. The first one, we'll do this in a couple of different uh, uh, angles for you, is the cross body arm bar. This is one that is very easy. A lot of systems use it. It's a very good thing to do. First thing you want to do is just get right up next to your attacker with your toes underneath his back and your other toe right by his head. And you want to drop all the way down as you're just like you're right here. And then as you fall backwards, you pull on the arm and this leg, if you want to turn his head, all you have to do is kick the face and turn in his head. And you want the arm in this angle, not straight up the groin, in this angle and then squeeze on it with this leg on the inside and the thumb should be up and then basically all you do is bridge for pain you can snap the arm real easy don't take nothing that's what this this leg here is for it's up underneath his back and bridge okay but you need to be real close to him the biggest mistake i see with this is people are trying to do this with their when they're out like this that is incorrect you want to be right up on him right okay cross body arm bar okay one more time spin around this way okay you're right beside him foot toes underneath squat down knee and shins right across his face you fall and pull on that arm so that you're in good and tight your arm is in a 45 not quite a 45 angle but an angle so the arm is not going up your groin okay Elbow, his elbow should be right in this section of your leg. Okay, and you're pulling down in this position here as you rid your body. Okay, the next one is called a neck stock arm bar. Go ahead and stay there. Basically, when you're here, you can add like a stomp to the face with this, which you will, and most all techniques to where we'll use this technique. And then you'll kick up underneath the head with the foot. And your leg should be all the way. Then you're going to squat all the way down. It's like you have an arm bar. This is a variation of it. You have an arm bar here. Okay? Just now you have a lot of good control, but you have a good choke. You're in a position to punch and things like that. So you grab the arm and you just fall to your right side. Okay? Now his arm needs to be his shoulder height or above. Okay? And then the thumb is up, you, this foot here, you're pushing into the neck as you push down on the arm. Okay? The neck stock arm bar. Okay? Next one. Oh, we'll do this in one more angle for you. Okay, we'll be the best one. Here, turn around this way. Okay, we have the hand, we're stomping the face, just reaching over, stomping the face, then it goes and it kicks up underneath the head, just like this, and you drop down your knee, just like this, you should be right on top of him, as you can see, if you did this for long, he'd be passing out just with this, uh, you have a lot of different things you can do from here, grabbing the hand, pulling, falling back on your right side, you have the head hooked, straighten the leg, and push down on the arm. Pushing into him for the stock. 
same time. Okay? Very good little technique. Okay? okay, the next one that we're going to do, I call this the cross body arm bar. This is one of the more difficult ones. That's why we teach it in yellow belt, so that by the time you get to where you have to use these regularly, you will have them down. Turn around on this way. Right there. No? Just keep turning. Straight there you go. Okay. You have the arm. Basically, you're stepping across the body. That's one of the reasons why you call it the cross body arm bar. Another thing that you want to focus on is this part of the leg is what's doing, getting him turned over on his belly, not my groin. A lot of people mess up and try to do that. So it's stepping, you want to get low, step to the head, step across the body, and that leg is making an arm bar. Then you just sit down. And you're sitting right on his shoulder, and you have this arm bar. Thumb is facing down now, as you can see. You have finger locks anytime any of these are applied. But that's your cross body arm bar. Very painful. Okay, again. Okay, you got him here, you take a step to the head, step across the body, and that leg hits, and he drops straight down, and it'll roll him right over. If you don't roll over, you'll damage his arm. Okay? Sitting on his, sh this cheek sitting right on his shoulder. Okay? Your rear back for the lock. Okay? Go this way. Got the arm up to his head. I step across. At the same time, I'm pulling slightly on the arm. I'm sitting on the shoulder, and I pull. Okay. And you have a lot of control with this technique. One more time. Step to the head, cross, and down. Cross body arm bar. Okay, that's it.